The globe's a really significant representation of our scientific understanding of the Earth at the time that it was made. When we were still coming to terms with the idea of plate tectonics, to be able to look back at that globe and think about what it shows that still stands today, but also what has evolved since. I think it's an amazing portrayal of how science and our knowledge of the Earth evolves. There seems to be a number of things that we know quite well about the globe's origin, and there's a few things that we're not so sure about. One thing that we do know is that the original globe that was made, that this is a replica of, was such an achievement that a paper was published in the journal Nature in 1938 about the globe. The globe was made by a famous uh, sculptor from Great Britain, uh, Charles Dorval Pilkington Jackson. If you do a search on the web, you can actually find all the, all the statues that he, he designed. The globe that we have here was brought out to Australia really because of Mike Rickard's efforts in the 1960s after he started at ANU. That's a magnificent, that's the right place for it. It's plenty of room yeah. to get around. My name is Mike Rickard. My profession was the geologist. I worked for the Geological Survey of Fiji for three years before coming to ANU. He is the one who heard that there was money available and the globe was also could be purchased. And uh, so uh, it, it came to the ANU. The globe uh, was used by many of us as staff members and students as a teaching aid because it can show things in three-dimensional perspective. The colours can tell you more about the depth in the oceans and uh, the different geological formations uh, on the globe and give this three-dimensional view you can't get from maps. In fact, it's Mark who suggested that it could be a loan to Geoscience Australia because he could foresee that uh, the interest that they knew had waned. And uh, when I told him that it, there was a process of this moving here, he was so excited. He was on, genuinely excited. <laughs> Getting the globe from the United Kingdom to Australia would have been a logistical effort, but even getting it from the ANU across Canberra to Geoscience Australia did take a fair bit of effort and thought. It was housed in the old building that uh, the geology department used to be in, and that building, parts of it are being demolished at the moment. So the globe had to be taken out, but it did require doors and frames to be removed it was a much more simple affair, getting it in through the back door and now into the Western Street public area of Geoscience Australia. It was in a, a closed building for three years, I think, or perhaps a bit more, and nobody knew it was there. So uh, it's glad to see it in a new home. So far, the Globe's had a fantastic reaction with visitors and staff at Geoscience Australia and to have a large globe that depicts the Earth like that in our public spaces really says a lot about who we are and what we're about. So the response has been terrific. I look forward to seeing how our understanding of the Earth continues to evolve and perhaps what we are sharing with the public is not only the globe that we have here today, but then future depictions of our understanding of the Earth, its structure, its tectonics that sit next to that globe. Might that be exciting? It's nice because of the light from above. Oh, you. Yeah. Really good. It's good, it's a good job. It's here safe and sound, and it's, uh, it's got a new life uh, and a new public life, which is very exciting. I hope that it stays here. I think that's the right place for it. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> <laughs>